accepting the urgency. It was a short 610 word speech the pontiff made in front of the White House. Nearly half of it addressed climate change. Bringing this, this ethical consideration to it, I think, is really important. Dr. Paul Rover teaches atmospheric science at the University of Wisconsin Milwaukee. There's definitely sort of a generational change that's been occurring for the last uh, few years on this issue. His students are watching what the Pope says closely. There are 1.2 billion Catholics in the world, so the Pope's message is far reaching. We all have a stake in the issue and that we all share some responsibility for it and it's not enough for the United States to unilaterally say we're going to do something about it if we can't get other major emitters on board. Such as China, which recently surpassed the U.S. in greenhouse gas emissions, leading to global warming. An atmospheric phenomenon which scientists believe have local effects. The water levels on the Great Lakes have increased over the last two years. One of the contributing factors was the expansive ice coverage that we had the last two winters. But that is likely temporary. And what's changed in the last two years is we've had a couple of locally, and I emphasize locally, cold winters. Wisconsin was the exception. It's now predicted that 2015 is on track to be the warmest year on record. Something is future generation of scientists will closely be watching. In Milwaukee, meteorologist Chris Gloninger, WISN 12 News. And other global impacts of climate change include drought, floods, and even strong storms.